goal for Manly United scored by number 29, William Richard. Now Sutherland Shark 1, Manly United FC 1.
seeing them celebrate and especially after the season that we've had uh, I think we're by far we've been the best team um, all season so to lose in the finals obviously extremely disappointing. Uh, can you put a finger on maybe why it didn't quite go right today? I think in the first half we played extremely well, we kept the ball really well, we, we actually played football but in the second half we got kind of got caught out uh, a fair bit, um, we started to play long balls and we didn't concentrate on playing our game so um, I think we just kind of um, uh, got off the game plan, which cost us obviously the two goals in the, in the game. Uh, what, what can I say? Uh, it's, a, it's one game, it's a grand final, anything can happen and unfortunately uh, we, we didn't get the win. Um, but as a season, uh, as a season, you know, you look at the season as a whole, I'm very proud of the boys. You were beaten by a good side today in Marconi Stallions? Yeah, well, um, you know, they're a great side, they, they play good football um, and we knew it was going to be tough. Um, it just uh, didn't fall our way today and uh, that's football. And after the season you guys have had, you're looking forward to next year and another big season at Bonnery? Yeah, I think uh, uh, with the players we've got, and I'm, I'm sure most of the players will be staying, um, we'll have another strong season next year. Yeah, look, I, I think we did well in the first half. The second half, for some reason, we started hitting long balls and chasing the game a little bit. And, you, know, they, you know, we spoke at halftime about getting the ball into Robbie Eunice's feet and using him. And, getting people running off and play football and unfortunately just you know, sometimes the players don't do what you ask them to do but um, yeah it was it just planned out that way. And yet obviously had a very strong squad this season you look to keep them together next season and yeah, go again? Yeah definitely looking forward to um, starting again in about six weeks we'll start training and hopefully we'll keep the, the, the we'll keep all of the squad and um, and I think you know losing finals it, it sort of 
already I, I've got my head what we're going to do for next year and you know, hopefully we'll, we'll be in the final again and win it. Well, far probably the best team all year. They won the combo what, 14, 15 points, but we knew, you know, we, we, we've had a good, decent, decent run to the finals. Um, we lost one new to them last put in the semis, but we thought we've got to, got to be, you know, carried away. But yeah, like we said tonight, it's a memorable moment for me, especially for me and the team here. Yeah. yeah, it was a tough game, it wasn't pretty, you know, but uh, we'll take it. We worked hard all year and we believed in ourselves and we just did whatever it took to win. And full credit to the boys, you know, we went down to 10 men and against a quality side like Wondering, we just battled and. Well, I said it wasn't pretty, but we'll take it, you know. So awesome feeling, mate. Awesome. Um, the boys, me and the boys from pre-season, we knew that if we stuck together throughout the whole season, that it would be done, and the job was done today. We done well. We had a few clean sheets throughout the season, and to keep a clean sheet in the grand final against Bonnerick, who we've probably conceded around nine goals against. Amazing feeling. Victory could never be more sweet, I mean. Yeah, look, I was pleased. Yeah, I think we were deservedly underdogs. Bonnerick had had such a good year, but. Um, you know, fortunately, the last sort of five or six weeks, we've had all of our main players fit and healthy, playing all the time. We came into the game, you know, haven't played all the semi-finals, uh, and, and I think that made a big difference for us in the second half. But well, leading into it, we all, we're all feeling really confident, and we said we said to ourselves, as long as we hang in there, with Bonnie Rig, we can put one away, we'll, we'll get the edge, and that's exactly what we did today. And the end result, look at us. My brother told me from the start of the year, come back to me when you win it. Say, Ibs, I'm coming back to you. I've won it. Yeah. Yeah!